How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'll be doing a video demonstration on learning the QuickBooks basics. I want to point out these are the very basics of QuickBooks. I want to try and make this pretty quick so I'm just going to go over a few things. Um, what I think is very important to know. Just the very basic stuff and that's going to be the chart of accounts. Um, quickly review that. How to enter an invoice. How to enter a bill. How to pay a bill and print a check or manually enter a check how to create a journal entry and how to reconcile which I think is the most important so if we swap over to our sample company here Vandalay Industries first thing I'm going to do is go over the chart of accounts now the home screen is where you start in QuickBooks if you're ever lost you can always just hit this button on the upper left to brings you the home screen your chart of accounts is right here under the company portion and if you click on it it's going to show you all your chart of accounts you can easily add chart an account by going to account and new or control n and when you do so it's going to bring up something that looks like this the first thing it wants is you to pick a category so let's just say it's an expense account um, you fill it in hit save and close and it pops out here you can sort this by the name you can sort it by type which is typically how it's done um, all the columns are sortable and it you know as far as the type that's going to be more of your accounter accountant slash bookkeeper question if you don't know what type of account to use um, the next thing I want to do is show you guys how to create an invoice you know keep the money coming in obviously the most important thing you don't ever want to be held up on billing someone so if you come right here create an invoice and you select the customer let's say it's Kruger industrial smooth in here um, let's say 50 is the quantity and um, let's say Manzier here and it will pop up this is the price you can change this make it taxable or non and what you do is just save that's going to create an invoice for that customer you can email that out real quick if you like um, you know that's the way I typically like to do it if you select to be emailed you can send it right from QuickBooks. Um, get that to them a lot faster than going through the mail. Now, a bill. So an invoice is you create an invoice to a customer. Don't get that confused with a bill. This is from your company's perspective. So a bill is a bill from someone you're doing business with. You need to pay them for goods or services. You enter a bill. On the drop down, let's just select Carl Farman Furniture. Um, let's say it's $5,000, new couch. That's going to automatically save that and then that leads right into the next thing of how to pay a bill so let's say we wanted to do the one we just entered the call farm and as well as two of these Ross foundation checks now these are going to automatically condense into one check just in case you're you know, have a question about that or worried about it um, you can select go to the bill to look at the details of it but mostly what you're going to do is select the bills you want to pay. You're going to select the payment date here, the method, whether it be check or credit card. And then let's say it's a check. Um, and I want to show you guys how to, if you manually cut the check, you'll put a signed check number. It'll pop up a box that says, tell me the number you cut. I want to show you how to print a check. So let's pay these bills. Um, it's going to automatically pop up this window, pay more bills, print checks. You can select print checks here. However, back on the home page, you can also do it in case you were wondering where. So you hit print checks. You're going to select from which bank account it is. You're going to tell QuickBooks what check number you're starting with. Let's say it's five, and then you're just going to hit OK, and it's going to pop up a print screen for you. Um, that kind of covers the very basics of your AR AP. Next thing I want to show you is a journal entry, and this is very easy. It's just under company here at the top make general journal entries. Um, I'm not going to go into the details here, I just want you to be aware of where this is in case your CPA says I need you to make this adjust in journal entry. You'd select the account you're going to hit, the amount, give it a memo, and then the offset in account. Um, QuickBooks never let you save a journal entry that isn't balanced, so that's important to know from the beginning. And the last thing I want to show you is what I think is the most important thing, and that is reconciling, which is just a fancy word for balancing your checkbook, let's say. Um, you can reconcile bank accounts, credit cards, loans, anything that you get a monthly statement for can be reconciled. So be aware of that. 
the more you reconcile, the more pain it's going to save you at year end. Um, it's going to create a good environment for your CPA. They're going to get everything, know that it's all balanced and reconciled. So what you do is under the banking section here, hit reconcile. And let's real quickly just go through one for the bank account. Um, all, what you've got here is statement date. Let's say it's July 31st, just for an example. Beginning balance should match your last statement balance. And what you do is enter an ending balance. Let's say it's 25000 You can enter service charges here, interest earned. You can also manually enter those. What you do is hit continue. And on the left side of the screen, it's going to pop up all your checks and payments. And on the right hand side, it's going to have all of your deposits or other credits. What you do is just highlight these and check them off at if they cleared your bank statement. What you're doing here is comparing your bank statement to QuickBooks to make sure everything is in line and balanced. And the only way to do that is to check off transaction by transaction and get this difference here down to zero. At any point you can hit leave and that's going to save the, the reconciliation for you next time when you go in there. As you can see, the items I did select are already saved. So again, that's just a real quick um, QuickBooks tutorial on just the basics. I, I just wanted to go over the very l minimal things here. If you have any questions on this, QuickBooks in general, or um, bookkeeping, please feel free to reach out to us. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.